Sometimes, she demands my attention with headbutts. Other times, she'll approach slowly and rest her head on me. And she absolutely can go on without her daily brushes. But every time I see Pataya, I can't help but love on her. She's like a giant fluffy dog. But because my arms can't fit around her, I have to hug her head which fits like a glove. Some might say I'm crazy for cuddling with a cow. But when it comes to Pitaya, there's just no other way. During the pandemic, I got a call from my grandfather. He wanted me to come and meet this baby calf that was born on his farm. And the moment I laid my eyes on Pitaya, my whole world changed. I knew I would scare her if I got too close too fast. So I decided to sit next to her and just talk. And slowly but surely, I started getting a little bit closer to her. Until she finally realized that I was safe. And from that moment on, our bond began. As a baby, Pitaya was delicate. So any chance I got, I would make sure to brush her and pet her. Until she became stronger and quirkier. She then started to jump around showing her joy. She would stretch like a puppy on the floor to get attention. But something happened that shocked me the most. She made friends with our kitty Amora. Pitaya would carefully approach the cat. And though Amora was a tough cookie, she couldn't resist the love of a baby cow. They're friends now. Whenever I speak to Pitaya in a cute voice, her eyes start to water as if she's getting emotional. And I believe that it's her telling me how much she loves me. Pitaya proved just how much love cows have to give. So I'm on a mission to show people that they need to be protected. And people who hug cows are not crazy. Try it and see for yourself.